So today we're going to be learning about being a top 1% student in the Philippines. This video is from the YouTube channel Asian Boss that I have already reacted to in the past. So I'm assuming this is going to be another street interview of the best Filipino students since it says top 1%. And I'm guessing we're going to learn a little bit about their uh you know curriculum you know the way they studied in the philippines perhaps they will tell us a little bit about uh schools and universities and stuff like that so yeah and if you are new to the channel welcome 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 maligayang pagbabalik sa akin channel ako po si Ovela. i am a sound engineer beat maker and content creator on youtube and with that being said let's check it out Hey bosses, it's Kay from Asian Boss. Regardless of which country you're from, you might think that those getting into top universities are set for life. Because that means you'll probably get high paying jobs in big companies straight out of college, right? That's the idea, that's the in goal. In our other street interviews, we heard from top college students from countries like Korea and Japan. But what about the Southeast Asian countries like the Philippines? Mm -hmm. What does it mean to get into top universities in the Philippines? What are and the top universities in the Philippines? About their future and local economy. Our Asian Boss reporter was able to visit the University of the Philippines, uh -huh. arguably the most prestigious university in the Philippines, and speak to some students. Is it? There. Let me know in the Here comment section. They had to say. University of the Philippines. It's probably located in Manila. VA Film and UP Diliman. BS Chemical Engineering. Hey. UP Diliman. Bio Chem po yung course ko sa University of the Philippines, Manila. Nice. Kinokuha ko po ay BA Speech Communication sa University of the Philippines, Diliman Campus. Para sa mga manunood natin sa ibang bansa, gaano ba kapristiyoso ang UP? Alright. Siguro familiar po tayo dun sa concept na yung Big Four. Concept of Big Four? Neo Lasal and UST. Ah, mga, Big Four. So bansa, big uh, prestigious uh, uh, Filipino UP universities. UP po ay top university nice. in the Philippines. It is a really prestigious university. It is home to many um, pr Philippine presidents, Supreme Court justices, and several lawmakers. At hindi lamang po yan. Damn, sounds um, like a lot of uh, jobs UP, from the, the gov government. Mga national scientists and national artists dito sa Pilipinas. Pag sinabi natin prestigious, eh, pasok sa Western Standard. Pag kinakompare mo lang sa ibang schools dito sa Philippines, pasok siya. Pero pag sa ibang bansa, baka hindi pasok sa standard nila. Mahirap ba makapasok sa UP? Yes po, mahirap. Kasi I have uh, friends din po na super taas na din ng grades and they still did not make it. Really? Yung UP grade po nila is not enough para po sa makapasok sa UP Diliman. I think umabot siya ng more than 120,000 applicants if I am not... Uh, if I remember it correctly, tas around 10,000 lang din yung pumasa. Ooh, the Actually, competition is uh, rude. Po po mga 10%, 10 to 15% of the takers yung mga... I mean, not rude. Rude is in Parang French. The competition na is... Uh, is mga 160, it's competitive, basically. Something kami. Tas yung mga nakapasok, mga nasa... 20,000, oo. So, malala talaga yung competition. Mm. Ano ba ang kwalifikasyon para makapasok sa UP? Um, there's like a specific grade qualification sa... The question remains though, do you have to go to university, to university and, uh, you know, fetch a diploma nowadays to actually succeed in life? Seriously, this is a serious question that I'm asking. Back in the day, before the internet, when you could not go and, you know, educate yourself... Uh, uh, that this easily because today with the internet you can educate yourself if you know where to look and plus there are uh, online courses and everything yes so back in the day it was better to go to a school to study right uh, but today I'm really asking this question is it necessary to go to university to actually uh, find a decent job you know or or is it better to just straight out of uh, high school, you know, find a job and become proficient at it? 
you know, and start working early and make money from the jump. You know what I'm saying? Plus, nowadays with the internet and everything, you can have side hustles. That's exactly what I did, man. I, I, for four years, I worked basically two jobs. I was like a video game tester by day and a YouTuber by night, you know? There are so many ways to uh, make it nowadays. Year ago, pero before it was um, UPCAT, which is the UP college admission test, and um, high school grades. Pero nung sa akin, it's grades from grades 9 to 12 lang. And if because if you think about it, if you really think about it, those who finish high school and go straight to uh, working, you know, find a job, start working, start putting money to the side, start having some savings and everything, I feel like they do better than the ones that go to universities. Uh, they have to, you know, get a loan from a bank so that they can actually pay for their studies, for their studies, you know, which cost a lot of money. And then when they when they get their diploma, most most maybe some of them uh, don't find a job and they are in debt. You know what I'm saying? And even if they find a job, they are still in debt for years because they have to repay whatever they loaned from the bank, you know, to study. So I seriously don't know if uh, going to university after high school is the best idea anymore. We're talking about time. Siguro on a personal experience, dati in one day nagaaral ako mga two to three hours lang. Pero nung panang inisip ko na gusto ko pumasa ng UP at pumasok ng UP talaga. From like two to three hours, naging four to six hours minsan, and I had to study really hard sa last few years, last two years ko sa high school para para makapasa ako ng UP. Pag malaman ng iba na taga-UP ka, ano ang nagiging reaction nila? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> May mga nag-iisip na, eh, mga taga-UP, activista yan. Meron An activist? Iba. Ay, mga taga-UP, bright yan. So, marami. Ay, yeah, must be Talaga bright. ba, eh, di matalino ka. Pag tinatanong ko, saan ka nag-aaral? Sa UP. O eh, di, ano ka, top one ka nung high school ka, ganyan. So, anong nararamdaman mo pag sinasabi nila yun? Minsan... Um, oh, come deserve. on! <laughs> kasi, kasi you should be na, proud of yourself. Kahit naman hindi mo deserve. Eh, nakapasok ka nga sa UP, di ba? Eh, kasi nung high school ako, buwan ako. <laughs> hindi oh, ako, don't like, say that. There's a general <laughs> assumption that we're leftist leaning or stuff like that. Pero um, there's a lot of different uh, perspectives in UP and a lot of ways to learn about it naman in UP. Being a UP student has a connotation with um, I quote unquote NPA ka, te, uh, terrorista ka, komunista ka, which what? to me I disagree Why? with because UP has produced so many colorful people, especially from ranging from on the left with Joe Masison to the extreme other side with Ferdinand Marcos Sr. So mm. it's not true that you know the university produced um, people of a certain political stance. Ano ba ang kadalasang nagiging trabaho ng mga taga UP? Pagkatapos nila gumraduate, saan larangan usually? Nice, good question. Um, yung based po sa observations ko usually, pag UP student, most likely mag-work po sa government. Mm, Kung there hindi you go. Kung sila sa government, um, mag mangingibang bansa or um, sa mga NGOs po. It's just like focus talaga to in helping the... I'm assuming uh, it allows you to find like a vast array of jobs. Ayun po. Tas different kind of jobs. Po, may mga ibang napupunta sa mga companies na malalaki. Iba't iba po talaga yung lahangan napupuntahan ng mga UP students. There you go, Alam fast. Alam ko maraming yeah. na-produce na, na mga engineers, na mga uh, medical professionals, ang mga students ng UP. And I know may ilan din na um, part ng businesses, no? magbuo sila ng sariling business and of course mm -hmm. marami sa mga taga UP talaga and at the end of the day nagsisisi I encourage people example, to build um, their own businesses I have a professor who is working in a certain government position it's not always yeah, easy to manage people but to how to serve it's a good option the people. bilang estudyante sa nangungunang universidad ng Pilipinas nag-aalala ka ba na makahanap ng trabaho pagkatapos mo? hindi 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 ka nag-aalala Kasi pag nakapa, nakatapos ka dito sa UP at may, may, meron kang diploma ng UP, baka pag-agawan ka pa paglabas mo dito. Nice! Ako po, 
Nag-aalala Damn, pa rin sounds kasi. like a very prestigious um, university if employers chase after you. Nangyayari. Pero medyo um, kampante pa rin po ako in some way kasi mag-graduate po ako as a UP student. And iba po talaga ang reputation ng isang UP student dito sa Pilipinas. I can say na may advantage kasi may kakilala ako na nag... Also, is it expensive to be a UP student? Like, uh... You know, do you have to pay a lot of money to actually apply and study there? You know, are the books expensive? Actually, I haven't been a student in years. Do you still buy books or do you just study online? You know, like is everything just online? I have no clue, man. I've been working for a while now, so I don't know. I'm not apply for managerial work. Get fresh grad. Pero galing UP, tinanggap siya. Kesa yung iba, hinanapan ng mga experiences, gano'n. Mm -hmm. I think talagang worrisome ang paghahanap ng trabaho, kahit regardless kung ano mang university ka galing. Siguro may edge, may edge din talaga kung galing kang sa top university, pero hindi rin guaranteed na makakakuha ka agad given the situation ng ekonomiya natin. Very good answer. Sapat ba ang oportunidad sa trabaho ang mga tao It's not a guarantee for sure. Um... To a certain extent, yes, but not everyone talaga kasi. Kasi um, in the experience of uh, my peer, uh, may kilala siyang nag-graduate nag valedictorian top of their class. Pero right now, is not even working in the field na pinagtrabahuan nila. The, uh, the person is working yeah, in like the service that's industry. Too bad. Kahit like nag-valedictorian siya in like a Can writing you imagine course. So valedictorian there's no like sure way kahit nakapagtapos ka ng high scores and nakapagtapos ka ng university. Sa palagay ko po sa ating bansa ngayon, parang... Hin, mas sumasang ayon pa ako na hindi po. Kasi sa nakikita ko po, mostly po na nakapag-graduate po dito, like, na, napipilitan po talaga mga ibang bansa kasi nga po, uh, hmm. mababa po yata yung sahod. Iniisip po bang magtrabaho sa ibang bansa pagkatapos po? Pwede, kasi since mas malaki yung sahod sa ibang bansa eh, bakit hindi? At some point in the future, um, yeah, salaries abroad might be higher, but guess what? The way of living abroad is also higher, you know? It's cheaper to live in the Philippines. So maybe that's why um, salaries are also a little bit lower in the Philippines. You know, everything is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Ah, you know which word I'm looking for, right? But yeah, it is more expensive to live, for instances... For instance, in uh, in North America, you know, so salaries have to be a little higher. Kailangan ko mag-abroad, 8% ang naging inflation rate dito sa atin. Nitong nakaraang buwan. So, nakakalungkot. No? So, kung hindi talaga naaagapan ng gobyerno ang sitwasyon na gobyerno, sa ekonomiya, government. baka um, there will be a point na kailangan ko talaga mag-abroad para makatulong sa aking pamilya. Pero, um, I would like to apply my skills first after I graduate in serving the people of the Philippines. Mm. The reason for that mm -hmm. is, siyempre, kami ay binayaran ng mga mamamayan ng Pilipinas upang makapag-aral dito. So, as a favor, I would like to really serve them in the field that I will choose after I graduate. I am the panganay po sa family namin and ako pa yung inaasahan nila to support my siblings. Kaya if there's a chance na magkaroon ng mas mat... See, that is crazy to me, man. That the burden falls on uh, his shoulders, you know, the eldest. Which is crazy. Like, the burden should not be on the kids to support their siblings. Like, no, I'm sorry. It has to be the job of the freaking parents. And I know, I know when it's the case is because they don't have a choice. But it's so freaking common in the Philippines. And the reason for that is because they have too many kids, okay? Stop having kids if you can't take care of them. Parents, stop it. Your children are, are not supposed to be the ones to take care of uh, the family. Man, that really, really pisses me off. As na sweldo, even if it's abroad, at this moment, uh, parang yung pag-iisip ko po is, 
to go Good with luck, that bro. Good para luck. lang po makatulong din sa family ko. Sa tingin nyo, nakakabuti ba o nakakasama na marami ang nangingibang bansa sa Pilipinas? Ako po para sa akin, kahit na gusto ko pong magtrabaho abroad, ayun po, masama po siya kasi um, Um, magbibigay po kayong example, yung scientists natin, yung mga magagaling nating scientists, nag-work po sila abroad at nakakapag-contribute sila sa mga countries abroad. Instead of working here in the Philippines and contribute to the Philippines to its development, ayun po, nasa abroad po, nasa abroad po sila. Kaya nakaka-benefit sa kanila, sa mga magagaling nating scientists, ay yung mga tao sa ibang bansa. So, ayun po. I agree with her din po. Dito sa Philippines, honestly, napakadami po ng great minds natin. Pero ang nakakasad lang doon is nare-realize nila na hindi sila masyadong nag-flourish mm -hmm. in our country. For example, yung mga... It's the same thing in most uh, developing countries. And I say this because I'm from a developing country, which is Algeria, and we have the exact same issues. You know, like the great minds, they all flee the country because of exactly the reasons they mentioned. Uh, uh, farmers natin, dito napakalit ng sahod, pero yung mga tao uh, na educated dito sa Pilipinas, nagpa-farm sa Japan, napakalaki ng sahod. Kaya dapat suportahan talaga yung mga industriya natin dito sa Pilipinas para makapag-produce tayo ng um, quality jobs, better, uh, better jobs, para masenso din naman tayo. Hindi lang yung ibang bansa na ginagamit ang Filipino manpower. Hindi ko masabi na nakasama siya or nakabubuti, pero kasi po walang choice yung mga tao dahil kulang na kulang yung mga oportunidad sa Pilipinas. And this just speaks a lot about uh, the administration or how the kung, pa, kung ano yung sitwasyon ng Pilipinas ngayon na dapat nabibigyan ng sapat na trabaho yung mga tao. Pero hindi yun yung nangyayahe. So lumilipad sila sa ibang bansa and we cannot blame them for that. Madali bang makakuha ang bawat isa sa atin ng kalidad na edukasyon dito sa ating bansa? Hindi eh, hindi pa. Tas kung mayaman ka naman, pwede ka makapag-aral eh. Pero kung mahirap ka at wala ka namang pera, and still wala ka pa rin knowledge na makapag-aral sa mga gantong universidad, wala talaga. Dapat ang uh, education is mm -hmm. a right, hindi Absolute. siya privilege. Absolutely. So dapat lahat ng tao ay merong yes. access sa education, uh, hindi siya dapat porket mahirap ka eh hindi ka na makapag-aral hindi so ang challenge sa atin o sa atin sa gobyerno na So I don't know if in the Philippines uh, you have to pay a lot of money to have access to uh, education but in countries like here in Canada and uh, well in North America in general um, it's very expensive so I consider uh, education here as a privilege but for instance In my other country, so Algeria, it's, I mean, it's not a privilege because it's free. You know, most most schools in Algeria are free. But that's also, that creates another problem, is that the quality of education in Algeria is not the best, you know. And I think it's because it is free, you know what I'm saying? So, you have to find the right balance. But maging magkaroon lahat ng access sa education, hindi lang para sa mga may kaya. If titignan nyo po yung Philippines, maraming places na mountainous, so yung mga mamamayan doon, parang mahirapan silang mabigyan ng magandang modality for learning, which is nag, uh, nagiging setback for our young kids. Bakit sa tingin nyo naging ganito ang sitwasyon natin sa Pilipinas? At least sa, sa napansin ko, in my opinion, parang, Iba po yung binibigyang pansin ng gobyerno na parang during the past administration parang naging focus po is uh, yun nga sa uh, 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 laban sa droga and parang mm -hmm. masyado pong napunta doon yung pagtutuon ng gobyerno na That's yung true. ibang aspects po na dapat pahalagahan gaya ng education at science and technology parang na left behind po dahil mas nabigyang pansin yung isa ayun po. Paano masusolusyonan ang kinakaharap natin na problema tungkol sa pagkakaroon ng bawat isa ng dekalidad na edukasyon? Siguro po, una, paglalaan po ng budget ng gobyerno, mas mataas na budget ng gobyerno sa pag-aaral. Problema yan ng uh, Department of Education eh. Uh, kung, kung ako ang tatanungin, no, 
dapat lahat may opportunity. Siguro magsisimula sa pag-aayos ng mga eskwelahan dito sa Pilipinas at pagtaas ng sahod ng mga teachers para rin ma-encourage mm-hmm. sila na magturo. I think it really starts with accountability and responsibility from the people who have the power to give quality education because starting from them if they are able to be to like give good education to more people then that's that's really the start kasi tayong mga normal students lang tayong mga mamamayan lang we can't really do much we can't really educate everyone we don't have the means and we also don't have the practices to be able to do that kasi we're still small people kailangan ng collective group para gawin yon but it's much easier if it starts with the people who have power sa tingin mo mahalaga ba ang makapagtapos ka ng kolehiyo um not really sorry <laughs> 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 Depende yan sa tao, hindi lahat ng Depends tao on the gusto yeah. mag-college or pwede sa college. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Sa so skills, ganyan rather than the degree. So, yep. palagay ko po, yep. dito, marami naman po sila naging successful at basta successful po sa kanilang buhay kahit hindi po sila nakapagtapos ng koleyo. May mga bagay po talaga na madadaan lang po talaga sa, discar- sa discarte at konting, ano po, luck po. <laughs> If you're going to have a business, I think uh, yung mga seminars, training will do. Mga ganun. So, It's optional para sa akin. Kung may babalik mo ang oras, gusto mo pa rin ba ang pag-aaral sa kolehiyo o iba na ang tatahakin mong landas? Oh. Siyempre, mag-aaral pa rin talaga tayo. Ah, he would still choose studying. Kahit okay. na nakagraduate ka na ng college, meron at meron ka pa rin matutunan. Tatahakin ko pa din po makipagtapos sa college. Uh-huh. Kasi po, ano, yun nga, cliche man siya, but education is power. Oh yeah, absolutely. Kasi, um, agree, I agree. Lahat naman ng ginagawa natin, it boils down to what we have learned. Not only sa school, but also sa lahat ng uh, challenges natin in life. And advantage talaga na meron tayong napag-aralan. Stay curious. That was a great video. So it was very interesting, the last question. The, the fact that she asked them. So if you could go back in time and choose a different path would you decide to not go to college or and, and you know do something else and sh- they showed a couple that said no i would still uh i would still decide to go to college so i agree on the fact that learning and education is power yes and like back in the day the only option basically was to go to school you know to learn today that's not the case okay you have the internet you have google you have youtube you have wikipedia you have websites that are dedicated for learning okay you may have to pay a small fee but it's nowhere near what you have to pay for uh universities and yes if you want a job or a prestigious job uh, they will ask you for a diploma basically the diploma is proof that you have learned what's necessary to be able to do the job you know but there are some businesses some jobs where you can start at the bottom and get to the top slowly but surely and you can always always start a side hustle okay today you can do that on youtube with a a passion that you have and you start learning slowly but surely be observant okay look what other people are doing try to mimic them and uh, learning from them and then you know try to copy it and and put your own spin to it you know and make it interesting and create a business around it and everything like that like There are so many possibilities today. You just have to get out of your comfort zone. You have to be a little bit courageous. You need to have a little bit of luck, of course. But yeah, this was very, uh, very, very interesting. So let me know in the comment section below if uh, you you are a student of, uh, of uh, this university, University of the Philippines, UP. Or the others that they have mentioned because there are big four you know universities and do you share their sentiment and their thoughts uh, about everything that was uh, asked you know uh, marami maraming salamat po and of course if you found value in this video do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here